So in this tutorial we're going to look at how to convert or create HTML5 web apps from your publication. So you can see in the software uh, if you've used before you can create a number of different outputs. Let's just head there and see. So we can see we can create an online version which is viewable in Flash and HTML5 and remember it will automatically detect which version would be most suitable for the user depending on their device so you don't need to worry about two direct links you just provide them one link um, so that's a browser version um, other iPad versions are the actual native app so the HTML 5's great web app which allows your users to view your publication but they must be online if you want to ensure that your iPad iPhone users can view offline then you will want to be creating an app um, at the same time. But we're focusing on this HTML5 web app today. So to create this you can see we've just been through the general process, we've added our PDF in the content tab, we've added to design and we've added any interactivity such as this video that we want to show in our publication. And before we go ahead and publish this and create our HTML5 web app there's just a quick option I want to show you here. If you come up to options, you'll see an option for iPad, iPhone, app icon. So these are the two options you have and you can change this design to upload your own design. So you can create an app icon, upload it here by just selecting change the icon and attaching it there. Once you've done so, those two icons are going to be saved with your publication, which means anyone on an iPad or iPhone, they can download that app icon directly to their home screen, which then converts into a web app, which means that they can launch it from their home screen into a full screen version on their iPad or iPhone. So assuming you've changed these icons so you don't leave them as 3D issue there, we then head over to the output tab, so we're going to create our version, so select online, I'm going to upload, I'm then going to hit build here. So this is creating the version, the HTML5 and Flash, and uploading it directly to our site, so we'll just give it a moment or two there. So it's uploaded, we're ready to view online, so let's go ahead and click view online. And here's our version. So what's happened is when we went to this URL, it quickly checked, is she on Flash? Does she need a Flash version or HTML5 version? There's I'm on a desktop here, so it showed me the Flash. So I would just view as normal through my publication. Now we're concerned with the iPad version. So what is this going to look like on an iPad? Well, let's just take a look here. So viewing that same URL on the iPad, we get to see the HTML5 version, which looks exactly like the Flash version. So you can see it has all the features along the left and all the interactivity in the publication. So how does the reader convert this into an HTML5 web app? Because at the moment it's shown the HTML5 version, but you can see it's in the Safari, in this case, browser on their iPad. So what they need to do is they need to click on the icon at the top left here. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've selected our icon there just to the left of the URL bar and we get a number of options. So the option that we want to do is the third one down, add to home screen. So this is what the user is going to do. They're going to select add to home screen there. They then get the icon that we added within the software, remember, so if you changed it from that 3D issue icon, that's the icon that's going to be displayed to your reader. So you can see then they can also change the text, so perhaps they want to make it a bit more memorable for them, that they can just simply edit that text and then select that blue icon, add. This then takes us directly to their home screen here, so you can see that that icon is now positioned on their home screen and it's converted into an HTML5 web app. So if the end reader now selects to launch the publication from that icon, this is what they get. Here's the publication and you can see it's no longer in a browser window, it's in full screen mode. 
So it works exactly like an app, but this is an HTML5 web app, so it does need to be linked or connected to the internet via Wi-Fi or 3G. So that's how to create an HTML5 web app from your 3D issue 